ever held on to an electric fence? It hurts. Farmers use electric fences to keep cattle in and foxes out. If an animal touches the fence, it gets a shock and it runs away. Today, by holding on to this fence designed to shock horses, the Brainiacs are going to learn all about electricity. This Brainiac is going to touch the fence and get an electric shock. This happens because when he touches the fence, he completes the circuit between the live wire and the ground. The charge goes from the fence itself into the Brainiac, through the Brainiac's body and down into the ground. Then it goes along the ground into the earth stakes, along the earth wires and back into the unit to complete the circuit. Ouch! And it hurt. OK, he's getting pretty fed up with that. So what happens if he stands on these polystyrene tiles? Brainiac, touch the fence. The electricity won't pass through the Brainiac's body because it can't go through the polystyrene tiles to the ground to complete the circuit because they're a good insulator, so no shock. Off the tiles. Shock. On the tiles. No shock. Off the tiles. Shock. <laughs> Every time this light flashes, there's a charge in the fence. Now, if the Brainiac's feet aren't touching the ground when it flashes, he shouldn't get shocked. So if he can jump at the right moment, he'll be fine. Brainiac, are you ready? Excellent. On. 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 <laughs> Look at, grab the fence, do it when I say on, be in the air. Here you go. On. On. <laughs> Oh, do you have no sense of rhythm? It's not difficult. You need to work on your timing. Or maybe we need to work on that theory a bit. What's better than shocking a brainiac? Shocking a whole load of them. In you go. All our brainiacs have bare feet and they're holding hands, as you do. Now, what will happen when the brainiac at that end grabs the fence, it might just go straight through him to the ground. It might make it all the way to here. Will this Brainiac even feel it? Who knows? Let's find out. Brainiac, on the count of three, grab the fence. One, two, three, go. <laughs> Hang on. So how far, you haven't even moved. How far did it get? It got that far. It got to this time. Rate that out of five. One to five, how much did it hurt? Two. Two. One to five, how much did that hurt? Four. Four. Right. <laughs> Change order and let's do it again. <laughs> right, hold hands. On one, three, two, one, go. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't feel it at that end. So it earthed by there. <laughs> His eyes are still spinning. And then we'll take it higher. It seems that the current has never got past this Brainiac here. So maybe he has unique insulating properties. Who knows? There's only one way to find out. Stick him on the end. On you go. You go and grab the fence. And I'm Mike Hat. Ready? Three, two, one, go. <laughs> Whoa, now that went further. Where did that end up? Did you feel that? That went as far as that brainiac there. It's killed that brainiac. That's quite impressive. <laughs> Right, new theory. What happens if we insulate, using these polystyrene tiles, all the Brainiacs along the line, apart from the one on the end? Maybe the current will make it all the way. Let's find out. Insulate yourselves, Brainiacs. Now, the first four in the line think that because they're insulated, they won't get a shock. And on my can, touch the fence. Three, two, one, go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> wow! Well, that really works. Because you were insulated, it earthed here, so for the first time, the current made it all the way to the very end. You all got a shock, and that looked quite severe at this yeah, end. That hurt. Because they were all holding hands, the current travelled along the line to find the earth via our uninsulated brainiac, giving everyone along the way a shock. <laughs> well, final experiment. What happens if you're insulated as well? Then you're all insulated, okay? So, join hands, please, Brainiacs. And 
I'm Mike Hand, grab the fence. Three, two, one, go. Well, look at that, that's amazing. Nothing, because you're all insulated. That's very clever, BrainX. I hope you've enjoyed learning about electricity. Well done, good effort, that's what I say. <laughs> Some people never learn.